Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. And thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Saturday, August 19th. It's the 10th week after Pentecost and week 6 in the Psalm Cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 107, verses 33 to 48. And 2 Samuel 16, verse 1 to 23. And now join me in singing verse 4 of the paraphrase of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts. We are God's people, we God's care. Our souls and all our mortal frame. What lasting honor shall we Almighty Maker, to your name. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Hallelujah, God turns rivers into a wilderness, and the springs of water into dry ground. Hallelujah. Psalm 107, and please recite it with me. Hallelujah, God turns rivers into a wilderness and the springs of water into dry ground, a fruitful land into barrenness because of the wickedness of them that dwell there. God turns the wilderness into a pool of water and water springs from dry ground, and there God makes the hungry dwell that they may prepare a city in which to live. And sow the fields and plant the vineyards, which may yield fruits of increase. And God blesses them so that they are multiplied and did not let their cattle herds decrease. They are diminished and brought low through oppression, affliction, and sorrow. God pours contempt upon rulers and makes them to wander in the wilderness. And yet God frees the poor from affliction and multiplies their families like a flock. The righteous shall see it and rejoice, but all iniquity shall shut her mouth. Those who are wise will observe these things. They shall know the loving kindness of God Most High. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God turns rivers into a wilderness and the springs of water into dry ground. Hallelujah. A reading from the second book of Samuel, chapter 16, beginning at verse 1. Now when David had passed a little beyond the summit, Ziba, the servant of Mephibosheth, met him with a couple of donkeys saddled, carrying two hundred loaves of bread and one hundred bunches of raisins one hundred of summer fruits, and one skin of wine. The king said to Ziba, Why have you brought these? And Ziba answered, the, kings are for the, ki the donkeys are for the king's household to ride, the bread and summer fruit for the young men to eat, and the wine is for those to drink who are faint in the wilderness. The king said, And where is your master's son? And Ziba said to the king, He remains in Jerusalem. For he said, Today the house of Israel will give me back my grandfather's kingdom. Then the king said to Ziba, All that belonged to Mephibosheth is now yours. Ziba said, I do obeisance. Let me find favor in your sight, my lord the king. When King David came to Bahiram, a man of the family of the house of Saul came out, whose name was Shimei son of Gera, and he came out cursing. He threw stones at David and at all the servants of King David. Now all the people and all the warriors were on his right and on his left. And Shimei shouted while he cursed, Out, out, murderer, scoundrel! The Most High has avenged on all of you the blood of the house of Saul, in whose place you have reigned. And the Most High has given the kingdom into the hand of your son Absalom, See, disaster has overtaken you, for you are a man of blood. And then Abishai, the son of Zeruiah, said to the king, 
Why should this dead dog curse my lord the king? Let me go over and take off his head. But the king said, What have I to do with you? If he is cursing because Yahweh has said to him, Curse David, who then shall say, Why have you done so? David said to Abishai and to all his servants, My own son seeks my life. How much more now may this Benjaminite? Let him alone. Let him curse. For Yahweh has bidden him. It may be that the Most High will look on my distress, and the Most High will repay me with good for this cursing of me today. So David and his men went on the road, while Shimei went along on the hillside opposite and cursed as he went, throwing stones and flinging dust at him. The king and all the people who were with him arrived weary at the Jordan, and there he refreshed himself. Now Absalom and all the Israelites came to Jerusalem. Ahithophel was with him. When Hushai the archite, David's friend, came to Absalom, Hushai said to Absalom, Long live the king! Long live the king! Absalom said to Hushai, Is this your loyalty to your friend? Why did you not go with your friend? And Hushai said to Absalom, no, but the one whom Yahweh and his people and all the Israelites have chosen, his I will be, and with him I will remain. Moreover, whom should I serve, should it not be his son? Just as I have served your father, so I will serve you. Then Absalom said to Ahithophel, Give us your counsel, what shall we do? Ahithophel said to Absalom, Go into your father's concubines, the one he has left to look after the house, and all Israel will hear that you have made yourself odious to your father, and the hands of all who are with you will be strengthened. So they pitched a tent for Absalom upon the roof, and Absalom went in to his father's concubines in the sight of all Israel. Now in those days the counsel that Ahithophel gave was as if one consulted the oracle of God. Defend us, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today, and for all of your intentions. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Lead us forth, O beloved God, into your kingdom, and deliver us from all our troubles, for we sing your praises. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.